Hello everyone, today uh, this is another Christmas gift that I have. Uh, I cannot say I'm working on this because it's brand new. So that's going to be more uh, of a review. And there's a little bit of history uh, on the back, which is kind of cool. So 110 miles per hour, that was a fast engine. They also say they painted them black during the war. And that so they would be less visible uh, during air raids. So I'm going to open this up for you guys. Uh, the other one I have, the other GS4 I have, it had a clear plastic box, which uh, I like that. This type of packaging, it's okay. It protects the engine well, but um, I think I've kind of preferred the other one. And let's see what we've got. So obviously it's well protected for transport. And I'll just open this up carefully. I don't always keep uh, this plastic, but I think for this one I will. So right away you can tell it's very detailed, very cool. I like to look under these. This looks to be about the same as the other one that I have. And then the tender picks up electricity of course. And we'll have a look at some of the detail. Well right away you can see these grab irons here on both sides of the cab. They're really cool extra grab irons on the side of the cab. The bell on these, if you remember, it's right at the front, hidden away right here. There's your horn, classification lights. And on the top there, there's a smoke stack, generators, and some uh, some pump valves over here. Oh, and on the other side, there's the power reverse. I thought this little extra detail here was the power reverse, but it's not. I'm not sure what this does. You can put that down in the comments below. I'd sure like to know. I'm sure there's a power reverse somewhere, but it might be hidden away by um, by this. So I bought this because I sold. Um, oh, here's another little detail: the flagpoles. They're very tiny, but they put them there anyway. Um, I sold one of my other GS4s, a Concor one. The Kado I find to be not necessarily more detailed, but uh, better running. So I sold the Concor and uh, the Rail Baron. I sold the Concor and I bought the Kado. And um, the Concor, it was more closely uh, looking like the prototype because they don't have this sheeting here. They removed that during the war. So this one has it. That's okay. I really did want one, uh, a wartime uh, GS4. And the tender also has these nice ladders. And they're made out of plastic, so they'll bend instead of breaking. Same with these ladders here. So um, I do have the train that goes with that. So uh, let's throw it on the track and find out what it does. And now it's time to run some trains. Here's another one of my pet peeves. Uh, nowhere on the box that it say you need a minimum of 11 inch radius. A lot of the layouts, they're built around diesels and they have a nine inch. So this engine, it'll just uh, derail on nine inch curves. So even 10 inch. So you need minimum of 11, which my minimum is, uh, I think it's eight, 18 or 17. So I built the uh, the layout, in fact, to run my other GS4. So just so you know, I, I wish they would tell you on the box before you buy it. That would be awesome. I forgot that this little board, the uh, number board here lights up. That's a very nice detail.
and this set I put all the cuddle lighting kits in it and even if you don't buy the lighting kits uh, the drum head always lights up so that's good to know Don't you just hate being stuck at the crossing behind a long train? And then another train comes along and you gotta wait some more. Come on, I'm in a hurry. All aboard. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly had fun making it for you. See you soon.